Hello, this is Dr. M. Bei Cho from G7 Clinic. Today, I would like to explain about the case of liposuction revision for the arm, which was a part of our previous case report. The patient we will discuss today had previously undergone a liposuction procedure for both her arms three months ago and is now seeking a revision due to a lack of satisfaction of her previous surgery. Looking at the pre-revision photos, we see that despite the previous surgery, the line running from the top of the shoulder towards the elbow was not vertical and the arm itself in the frontal view had a slightly bulky appearance as shown here which ruins the contour of the shoulder and causing the dissatisfaction. Furthermore, if we trace the curvature of the arm, we see it pokes into view along the whole segment of the upper arm. This causes a bulging appearance on both sides, which I will attempt to address during revision surgery. As we observe the raised arm position, on the right hand side there was still some fat remaining in the inner armpit area and there was volume observed in the line running from the elbow towards the shoulder. Particularly on the left arm, the liposuction connection from the upper part of the armpit was not handled properly. This causes a fold to appear when the arm was raised as seen here. Moreover, there is still some fat remaining on the inner side of the armpit, which results in creases and a thickened sensation of the arm. This will be another point of emphasis which I will be attempting to address during revision surgery. From the side view, there is a moderate amount of fat remaining above and surrounding the elbow. As well as due to the portion of the upper back connecting to the arm not being suctioned properly, the upper arm remains quite bulky. Towards the front, there is an even more significant amount of fat buildup remaining on the anterior side. Crucially, around the elbow region where the lower arm is connected, the remaining fat leads the eye to perceive a thicker appearance of the lower arm. Looking at the left side profile and comparing the right and left arm, we see there is more fat remaining in the upper part of the left arm compared to the right. This ends up creating a phenomenon of a so-called chicken leg or colloquially a tender drumstick shaped arm. In such cases where a full 360 degree liposuction approach to the arm hasn't been properly executed, issues like these are often encountered as I do revision liposuction. From the back view, you are still able to see the areas of fat on the patient's upper back circled here. Adding on to this, the patient was also particularly concerned about the presence of scars on the upper side of both elbows as well as the middle back shown here. Due to these concerns, she requested that the scars be attempted to minimize during the surgery. Taking this into account, for the revision liposuction procedure, a comprehensive design was made. First, the black circles regard areas of fat where it needs to be heavily removed, while the red lines slash areas demonstrate areas where fat removal should be limited. You can see the outline encompasses the entire area all the way below the elbow and onto the back, not only being limited to the upper back, but including the entire scapula and following the bra line from the middle back towards the chest. On the left hand side, we see the fold of fat created by improper suctioning is heavily demarked in black marker. This indicates an area of focus during the procedure. This alongside the suctioning of the armpit will ensure a slimmer look of the arm. A well executed design is crucial to the procedure creating an outline to a successful surgery. Eventually, the revision surgery was performed and let us now compare the post and pre-operative photos. In the front post-operative view, we see how the arm is straightened out and has overall less volume resulting in a clean vertical line. With the right arm raised, we see both the top and bottom of the arm has straightened out. On top, we see a natural connection of the arm and the shoulder, while on bottom, we see the previous sagging has been uplifted. Within the armpit especially, we notice that it has become concave inwards moving away from the full thickened look before. In the view of the left arm, we see the previously large fold has nearly completely straightened out and the lines of the arm run parallel which makes the silhouette look much smoother, as well as the armpit appearance has been improved in the same manner as the right arm. Looking on the right hand side once more, we see that the posterior upper portion of the arm has been nicely tidied up alongside the back. In the front anterior portion of the arm, the overall volume has been reduced and we are able to see more of the torso towards the side of the breast that the arm itself used to be covering. As emphasized before, not many hospitals are able to perform a comprehensive 360-degree crisscross technique for arm liposuction procedures. This is because, as we know from blood draws, two large blood vessels run under the skin within the forearm as shown here. This has led to around 80% of hospitals focusing solely on the backside of the arm due to concerns about vascular injury. Looking back at the left side view, 
We see again, the posterior upper portion of the arm has been nicely integrated into the upper back as well as the areas around the elbow have diminished in volume resulting in an overall improved shape as well as contour. From the back side, we can see a contrast from the previously sagging, slightly flabby upper back which has been successfully tightened and moved up. Drawing together the arms and the back, a more graceful and feminine contour with regards to the shoulders and overall shape has been created. Especially regarding the scarring, compared to the previous operation, the scarring was extremely minimized, as the incision points were located within the elbow creases, making it hard to see until zoomed in as shown here. This was achieved by avoiding machinery which repeatedly vibrates and damages the skin, but rather only utilizing a manual approach of minimizing stress to the skin with the skill of an experienced surgeon. Finally, during recovery, utilizing a protective device developed at the clinic, we could avoid the typical look of scarring. Thank you and have safe and smart liposuction.